Hello and welcome to another edition of History Science Fiber. My name is Zoe McDonald, I'm a biologist, and today we are dying with eucalyptus leaves. Come join me. Now there are about 700 different species of eucalyptus trees, also known as gum trees, and the vast majority of them originate in Australia. But you can find them in a lot of tropical areas and different continents like Africa, um, where I am right now, I'm in the state of Hawaii. Now, different eucalyptus tree species have different characteristics. Some of the barks can be shaggy, some can be smooth or even fibrous. And the leaves can be different shaped as well, but they all have that very distinctive eucalyptus oil smell. So let's take some leaves home uh, and we'll see what we get. Eucalyptus contains tannins, which are inherently substantive, which means they do not require more. The leaves themselves also contain a flavanol. Now, flavanol-based dyes are yellow and do require a mordant to adhere to the fiber. Flavanols are not as light fast as other dyes, so if you are using eucalyptus leaves, this is a good dye to use for textiles that will be hung indoors or do not see the sun that much. I was lucky enough to head out after a big storm. So we've just had a storm and I was lucky enough to find a branch on the ground. So I'm going to harvest all of these leaves and we'll see what we get. This species is Corymbia citriodonna, also known as lemon scented gum or lemon eucalyptus. The other nice thing about harvesting from a downed branch near the road is that you can take pretty much as much as you want because it's likely to be chipped up anyway as mulch. I harvested about three to four cups of leaves. The first thing I did was to place a filter into the pot. Now you can use a fine mesh strainer or cheesecloth, but I've adopted this method of using an inexpensive paint bag from the paint store. It's reusable and does a great job of filtering out the plant pieces once the vat is ready to go. The first step is to add it into your dye pot. Once it's in, I add in the plant material. If you're wondering how much to use, it's considered a one-to-one -one dyer. So use one pound of dried leaves for every one pound of fiber. I didn't have a scale, so I estimated about 10 to one fresh leaves to fiber, which is about right. So there's 10 times as much leaves as there are fiber. The important thing to note about leaves is to let them simmer for longer than other material. You've got to break through that waxy coating to get the dye out. So I gave these leaves a rough chop and then simmered them for about six to eight hours, being careful not to leave the pot alone when the element was on. While that was simmering, I soaked the fiber, which consists of three wool skeins to test out the colors. Two of the skeins have been pre-mortented. This means that one skein wasn't treated at all. One was treated for an hour with a 16% weight of alum or potassium aluminum sulfate. And one was heated for an hour with a 6% solution of iron or ferrous sulfate. Introducing yarn to metals this way allows for greater color variety, tones, and shades that are deeper, richer, and more stable. I'll post a link below to a video on just how to do this. I took my three skeins and I let them soak for an hour. Soaking them like this just lets them sink into the pot and take up color better. Once the pot had cooled after the long simmer, I added in the wetted fiber and brought it back up to a simmer.
I simmered it for about an hour and left it to cool overnight. The amortented skein came out a very pale brown from the tannins. The al amortented skein came out a brilliant bright yellow, which matched the lemony smell of the lemon eucalyptus really well. The iron warranted wool came out a solid chocolate brown. Now other species of eucalyptus trees and shrubs will give colors more into the brick reds, but the lemon eucalyptus died true to its common name. This video is part of two playlists, Dying with Plants and Dying in Tropical Climates. Please check out the links below in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.